Islamic Republic of Pakistan emerged on the world map as an independent state on August 14, 1947. However, this region has been a melting pot of civilizations for thousands of years, which is reflected in its society being multi-ethnic, multilingual and multi-religion, thus presenting a mosaic of diverse cultural scene in the country. With approximately 200 million people, Pakistan is the sixth largest country in the world. Pakistan is a land of splendors from coastal beaches, lagoons and mangrove swamps in the south to sandy deserts, desolate plateaus, fertile plains, dissected upland in the middle and high mountains with beautiful valleys, snow-covered peaks and eternal glaciers in the north. Pakistan of today is a strong, vibrant nation, richly endowed with human and natural resources. It is strategically located at the crossroads of three vital regions of the world. The founder of Pakistan, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, in February 1948, had envisioned Pakistan's foreign policy to be one of peace with all and enmity with none. The Foreign Service of Pakistan consists of civil servants who represent Pakistan at the international stage. The service is as old as the country itself. The Foreign Office, then known as Ministry of External Affairs, started functioning on 15th August 1947 at Mohata Palace in Karachi. In 1962, the Ministry of External Affairs was moved to the new capital, Islamabad and was renamed as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1964. The civil service reforms of 1973 led to a change in the nomenclature of the cater from Pakistan Foreign Service to Foreign Affairs Group. In 1983, the group was renamed as Foreign Service of Pakistan. Recruitment in Foreign Service of Pakistan is through Central Superior Service Examination held by the Federal Public Service Commission. Foreign Service of Pakistan is an equal opportunity institution. Women diplomats have represented Pakistan through the years with distinction and honor. The number of female officers in the current batch has touched 50% of the total strength, which is the highest till now. Today, we are proud to have the first female foreign secretary heading the foreign ministry. We are glad to have increasing number of officers from minority religions without any discrimination, as well as for the talented but physically challenged people. The training of a foreign service officer starts at Civil Services Academy Lahore for around seven months, and then later to specialized training of nine months at FSA Islamabad. The training concept for foreign service officers have evolved over the years since inception of Pakistan. Notwithstanding the crucial role of the Foreign Service of Pakistan, there was no institution before 1981 for imparting training to the new entrants in the Foreign Service. Appreciating the need to establish an institute in Pakistan with a clear mandate to impart specialized diplomatic training to the newly selected Foreign Service officers, the Cabinet appointed an eight-member committee headed by the Establishment Secretary as Chairman. Two UN consultants, Mr. Edmund Gullion, former Dean of Fletcher School, and Professor Ralph Felton, Director, Oxford University Foreign Service Program, were also consulted. Based on the recommendations of the committee, the Foreign Service Training Institute was established in 1981 as training arm of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. It was renamed as Foreign Service Academy in 1993. The Academy received ISO 2000 certification in the year 2000. The objectives of Foreign Services Academy include training new entrants into the Foreign Service of Pakistan and also to prepare them for successfully clearing the final passing out examination conducted by the Federal Public Service Commission. We are also engaged in the capacity building of foreign diplomats from friendly countries as well as organize various other short training courses on behalf of the government of Pakistan. Foreign Service Academy is an autonomous institution and run by a board of governors comprising 11 members. The board is headed by the foreign minister. The academy is headed by the director general who is assisted by director program and director administration. The training programs regularly conducted by the Foreign Service Academy include extensive course for young officers of Pakistan Foreign Service. This is for a duration of around nine months from April to December every year. We also hold the junior diplomatic course for around six weeks for foreign diplomats in November, December, as well as advanced diplomatic course for mid-career foreign diplomats 
again duration six weeks in February, March every year. In addition to these, uh, the other short training programs conducted uh, by the Foreign Service Academy include diplomatic orientation courses for defense services attaches, uh, pre-posting orientation course for spouses of the Foreign Service of Pakistan officers, uh, short courses on administrative and financial matters uh, for the Foreign Service of Pakistan officers, Urdu language courses for foreign diplomats, residents in Islamabad as well as protocol and mannerism courses. Specialized diplomatic course is a nine month long extensive course for the entry level officers of Foreign Service of Pakistan. The objectives of the course are inculcation of diplomatic general and specialized knowledge, building knowledge base as well as developing professional skills of the participants to meet the complex challenges of diplomacy, Preparing professional diplomats with well-rounded personality with keen sense of political analysis and judgment for a lifetime career. Developing better understanding of various key national institutions and Pakistan's diverse cultural landscape. The course curriculum offers diplomatic theory practice and protocol, international politics, international economics, international organizations, international law, Pakistan's foreign policy and external relations, Pakistan's foreign trade, and human resource development. In addition, professional skills development and study tours to various regions of Pakistan as well as important national institutions are part of the program. So far, 596 Pakistani diplomats and 136 foreign diplomats from 58 countries have attended very specialized diplomatic courses with their Pakistani counterparts at the academy. In the first place, it uh, trains a lot of Pakistani diplomats, in fact all of Pakistani diplomats. But more importantly, what we have been doing is training foreign diplomats as well. And the importance of that lies in the fact that these diplomats who come at a junior level and at a middle level, later on become permanent friends of Pakistan. Junior Diplomatic Course for Foreign Diplomats is a six week long course usually held in the last quarter of the year. So far, 24 courses have been held in which 628 foreign diplomats from 87 countries have participated. In the future, I will do something and contribute to uh, our Sino-Pakistan uh, relationship my overall experience in Pakistan has been very uh, professionally and personally enriching. Pakistanis have been uh, very um, nice with us and it has been a very, very interesting experience. I would really recommend to other young diplomats. The institution has taken us to so many cities. We have been to Lahore, Sialkot, Tekzila, uh, Salt Mine, Karachi, Muzaparabad. Mori, which I enjoy uh, very much. Advanced Diplomatic Course for Foreign Diplomats is also a six-week-long course meant for the mid-career diplomats, usually held in February to March each year. So far, 25 advanced courses have been held in which 513 foreign diplomats from 85 countries have participated. It's a real unique experience to be here, to discover new people, new culture. And of course, uh, as I'm in, uh, in front of uh, Belarus-Pakistani relations, for me it's really very important. The experience here, for the time being, has been very pleasant. Um, it's different from what one might expect and in a very positive way. I'm also very impressed from the Pakistani cultural uh, heritage. We are here together sharing ideas, sharing experience and working for a better future. After talking to the people, friendly people, uh, respectful people, I can only say that I would want to stay in Pakistan, open a mission in Pakistan and I'm going with that uh, mentality and with that feeling of informing and telling my Prime Minister, my Foreign Minister, of how important it is for us to open up a mission in this country. With a view to provide a glimpse of our rich cultural and musical heritage, cultural nights are organized at the start of the training courses.
courses are conducted by the Academy's visiting faculty, which includes a rich mix of experienced academics, as well as eminent practitioners, including serving and retired members of the Foreign Service of Pakistan. Foreign experts specializing in courses taught at FSA are also invited on a regular basis. In addition, resident foreign ambassadors are also invited to speak on important topics of relevance. The standard of teaching and outreach in Foreign Service Academy has been growing with a much bigger pool of uh, guest speakers and uh, faculty members. So we are proud in the Foreign Office about the Foreign Service Academy and its achievements. Over the years, the Foreign Service Academy has trained over 2,550 national and international participants in various courses, out of which 1,301 are Pakistani participants belonging to various ministries and divisions. The Academy is proud of its global outreach. We view our foreign trainees also as ambassadors of Pakistan, as also for Pakistan and the rest of the world of their respective countries. The caucus of these ambassadors, our international alumni, has grown in number over the years and is today 1,277 strong from 101 countries of the world, belonging to foreign services ranging from Africa to the Middle East and from Central Asia to Latin America and Europe. Today we have over a thousand diplomats, men and women, young and old, who have spent time in Pakistan and have gone back as friends and well-wishers of the country. We want to encourage the, foreign, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Foreign Service Academy to not only continue with this most laudable initiative, but to further enhance and expand the scope of this program. As part of its public diplomacy outreach, the Academy maintains very active engagement with a number of national as well as international diplomatic and security institutions, think tanks, UN agencies based in Pakistan, resident embassies of friendly countries and other government organizations. Visits to and from these institutions are a regular feature of our engagements. The Foreign Service Academy has signed MOUs with a number of countries including the Netherlands, Argentina, Tunisia, Egypt, Ukraine, China, Poland, Czech Republic, Bulgaria, Turkey, Iran, Portugal, Bahrain and Belarus. A very successful collaboration exists between Foreign Service Academy of Pakistan and Klingendal Institute of International Relations of The Hague. The short training is helping the young diplomats increase their understanding of current international affairs and developing their talents in diplomacy. Foreign Service Academy is equipped with a well-equipped library with over 10,000 books, CDs, magazines, newspapers and newsletters, alongside access to HEC Digital Library. Additionally, a computer laboratory allows the trainees to acquire the requisite use of the latest technology and practical training. Moreover, a conference room, academy auditorium, lecture rooms equipped with audio-visual aids, and other facilities. A recently built residential complex, Park Brunei Friendship Hall, caters for the accommodation of the FSP probationers. The building has additional facilities such as auditorium, gym, indoor sports equipment, Wi-Fi, common room and messing. We at the Foreign Service Academy are rightly proud of our past achievements and are fully geared to prepare our trainees, both from Pakistan and friendly countries, for the complex 21st century diplomacy.